In the Holy Bible. In the Holy Bible. The Bible is claimed to be the Word of God Almighty. Although many Christians and Jews are sometimes shy to read certain verses of the Bible. If something is from God then we shouldn't be shy or ashamed of saying that it's from God. However, here I have presented some of the awkward and questionable statements formed the Bible. Can these be from God? This article is not to offend or ridicule any belief. It is to show the reader another side of their belief. The initials of different versions of the Bible. R.S.V. Revised Standard Version. K.J.V. King James Version. And I.V. New International Version. L.B.V. Living Bible Version. G.N.B. Good News Bible, known as today's English language. Remember, since there are so many versions of the Bible you may not find these verses in your Bible. Or you might find the verses changed. Prophets but naked. Genesis 9 verse 21. Noah drank of the wine, and became drunk, and lay uncovered in his tent. And Ham, his son, saw the nakedness of his father. 1 Samuel 1923. And the Spirit of God came upon Saul, and he too stripped off his clothes, and he too prophesied before Samuel and lay naked all the day and all the night. 2 Samuel 620. David dances naked before the people and before the Lord. Fornicators. Judges. 1419. And the Spirit of God came upon Samson, he killed thirty men. Judges. 16 1. And he went to Gaza, and there he saw a harlot, and he went into her. Lot's daughters commit incest with him. Genesis. 1930. Lot went up out of Zoar and dwelt in the hills with his two daughters. And the firstborn said to the younger, Our father is old, and there is not a man on earth to come to us after the manner of all the earth. Come let us make our father drink wine, and we will lie with him, that we may preserve offspring through our father. So they made their father drink wine that night, and the firstborn went in and lay with her father. He did not know when she laid down or when she arose. And on the next day, the firstborn said to the younger, Behold, I lay last night with my father, let us make him drink wine tonight also. Then you go in and lie with him that we may preserve offspring through our father. So they made their father drink wine that night also, and the younger arose, and lay with him, and he did not know when she lay down or when she arose. Thus both the daughters of Lot were with child by their father. Judah with his daughter-in-law. Judah fornicates with his daughter-in-law, Tamar. Genesis 38,15 when he saw her, he thought her to be a harlot, for she had covered her face. He went over to her at the roadside and said, Come, let me come into you, for he did not know that she was his daughter-in-law. She said, What will you give me, that you may come into me? He answered, I will send you a kid from the flock. And she said, Will you send me a pledge till you send it? He said, What pledge shall I give you? She replied, Your signal and your cord and your staff that is in your hand. So he gave them to her and went into her, and she conceived by him. About three months later, Judah was told, Tamar your daughter-in-law has played the harlot, and moreover she is with child by harlotry. David with his neighbor's wife. 2. Samuel. 11. 1. David arose from his couch, and was walking upon the roof that he saw from the roof a woman bathing, and the woman was very beautiful, and David sent and inquired about the woman. And one said, Is not that Bathsheba, the daughter of Eliam? the wife of Uriah the Hittite? So David sent messengers and took her, and she came to him, and he lay with her. Then she returned to her house, and she sent and told David, I am with child. David called her husband, and invited him, and ate in his presence and drank, so that he made him drunk. In the morning David wrote to Joab, Set Uriah in the forefront of the hardest fighting, and then draw back from him, that he may be struck down and die. When he died David sent, and brought Uriah's wife to his house and she became his wife. God punishes David. Two dot Samuel, 12.10 The Lord said to David, Because you despise me, and have taken the wife of Uriah the Hittite to be your wife. Thus say the Lord, Behold, I will take your wives. He punished David through his daughter and son, not his wife, as you will see, before your eyes. And give them to your neighbor, and he shall lie with your wives in the sight of this Sunday. David's son with his sister. 2. Samuel. 13 1. 
Amnon the son of David fell in love with his sister Tamar. Amnon was so tormented that he made himself ill because of his sister Tamar, for she was a virgin, and it seemed impossible to Amnon to do anything to her. Amnon had a friend who said to him, Lie down on your bed and pretend to be ill, and when your father, the king, comes to see you, you say to him, Let my sister Tamar come and give bread to eat from her hand. David sent Tamar to her brother and ordered her to feed her brother by her hand. Tamar took the cakes she had made and brought them into the chamber to Amnon, but when she brought them near him to eat, he took hold of her and said to her, Come, lie with me, my sister. She said, No, my brother, do not force me. But he would not listen to her, and being stronger than she, he forced her and lay with her. Get for yourself a harlot. Hosea 1 colon 2 When the Lord first spoke to Hosea he said to him, Go take Teo yourself a wife of harlotry and have children of harlotry, for the land has committed great harlotry by forsaking the Lord. Genesis 35 colon 22 Reuben the son of Jacob lay with Bilhah his father's concubine. Genesis 49 colon 4 His father blamed him and said, Because you went up to your father's bed, then you defiled it, you went up to my couch. Pagan Prophets 1 King 11 colon 3 Solomon had seven hundred wives princesses and three hundred concubines, and his wives turned his heart after other gods. The goddess of the Sidonians. Aaron built the calf. Exodus 32 colon 2 Aaron said to people of Israel, Take off the rings of gold which are in the ears of your wives, your sons and your daughters. So they took off the rings of gold and brought them to Aaron. And he received the golf at their hand and fashioned it with a graving tool and made a molten calf and they said, These are your gods, O Israel, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. The Sex Literature in the Bible Proverbs 7 colon 7 I have seen among the simple, I have perceived among the youth, a young man without sense, passing along the street near her corner taking the road to her house in the twilight. In the evening at the time of the night and darkness. And lo, a woman meets him, dressed as a harlot, wily of heart. She is loud and wayward. Now in the street, now in the market, and at every corner she lies in wait. She seizes him and kisses him, and with impudent face she says to him, I have come to meet you, to seek you eagerly, and I have found you. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love till the morning, let us delight ourselves with love. For my husband is not at home, he has gone on a long journey. With much seductive speech she persuades him, with her smooth talk she compels him. All at once he follows her, as an ox goes to the slaughter. Woman's Breasts in the Bible Songs 113 My beloved is to me a bag of myrrh that lies between my breasts. Behold, you are beautiful, my beloved, truly lovely. Our bed is green, and our SV our couch. Song 3 colon 1 Upon my bed night I sought him whom my soul loves but not found him. When I found him whom my soul loves, I held him, and would not let him go until I had brought him into my mother's house, and into the chamber of her that conceived me. I adjure you, O daughters of Jerusalem, by the gazelles or the hinds of the field, that you steer not up nor awaken love until it pleases. The Songs of Solomon A Book of Flirtation Songs 4 colon 1 Behold you are beautiful, my love. Your lips are like a scarlet thread, your cheeks are like halves of a pomegranate, your neck like the Tower of David. Your two breasts are like two fawns, twins of a gazelle. How sweet is your love, my sister, my bride! How much better is your love than wine! How graceful are your feet in sandals, O queenly maiden! Your rounded thighs are like jewels, the work of a master hand. Your navel is rounded bowl that never lacks mixed wine. Your belly is heap of wheat, encircled with lilies. Your two breasts are like two fawns, twins of a gazelle. You are stature, in RSV stately, as a palm tree, and your breasts are like its clusters. I say, I will go up, in RSV climb, the tree, and lay hold of its branches. Oh, may your breasts be like clusters of the vine. Song 8 colon 8 We have a little sister, and she has no breasts. What shall we do for our sister on the day when is spoken for? I was a wall, and my breasts were like towers. Rejoice with them. Proverbs 5 verse 18 Rejoice with the wife of your youth. 
Let her be as the loving hind and pleasant roe. Let her breasts satisfy you at all times. The sexy language in Ezekiel. Ezekiel. 16 colon 1. The Lord said to me, Son of man, cause Jerusalem to know her abomination. 15. But you trusted in your beauty, and played the harlot because of your renown, and poured out of your fornication on every one that passed by, and made for yourself images of men, and committed whoredom with them. And in all your abominations and your whoredoms you have not remembered the youth, when you were naked and bare, and opened your feet to every one that passed by, and multiplied your whoredoms. 26. You have also committed fornication with the Egyptians your neighbors, great of flesh, and increased your whoredoms, to provoke me to anger. 33. They give gifts to all whores, but you give your gifts to all lovers and hire them, that they may come unto you on every side for your whoredom. Wherefore, O harlot, because your filthiness was poured out, and your nakedness discovered through your whoredoms with your lovers, I will gather all of your lovers, with whom you have taken pleasure, and all them that you have loves, I will even gather them round against you and will discover your nakedness unto them, that they may see all your nakedness. And I will also give you into their hand, and they shall throw down your eminent place, and shall break down your high places. They shall strip you also of your clothes, and shall take your fair jewels, and leave you naked and bare. The Story of the Two Prostitutes H.O.L.H. and H.O.L.I.B.H. Ezekiel 23.2 Son of man, there were two men. They committed whoredoms in Egypt. They committed whoredoms in their youth. They were their breasts pressed, and there they bruised the teats of their virginity. And the name of them were Ahola the elder, and Aholiba her sister. And Ahola played the harlot when she was mine, and she doted on her lovers. They bruised the breasts of her virginity, and poured their whoredom upon her. Wherefore, I have delivered her into the hand of her lovers. These discovered her nakedness. And when her sister Aholiba saw this, she was more corrupt in her inordinate love than she and in her whoredoms more than her sister in her whoredoms. And that she increased her whoredoms, for when she saw men portrayed upon the wall, and as soon as she saw them with her eyes, she doted upon them, and sent messengers unto them, into Caldae. And the Babylonians came to her into the bed of love, and they defiled her with their whoredom. So she discovered her whoredoms, and discovered her nakedness. Yet she multiplied her whoredoms, in calling to remembrance the days of her youth, wherein she played the harlot in the land of Egypt for she doted upon their paramours, whose flesh is the flesh of asses, and whose issue is like the issue of horses. Thus you called to remembrance the lewdness of your youth, in bruising your teats by the Egyptians for the paps of your youth. And they shall deal with you hatefully, and take away all your labor, and shall leave you naked and bare. And the nakedness of your whoredoms shall be discovered, both your lewdness and your whoredoms. You shall be filled with drunkenness and sorrow with the cup of astonishment and desolation. You shall even drink it and suck it out, and you shall break the sherds thereof, and pluck off your own breasts. God makes people fall in adultery. Amos 7 verse 16 God said to Amaziah, You say, Prophesy not against Israel, and drop not your word against the house of Isaac? Thus the Lord says, your wife shall be an harlot in the city, and your sons and your daughters shall fall by the sword. Jeremiah 8,9 They have rejected the word of the Lord. Therefore I will give their wives unto others. Jeremiah 13,22 For the greatness of your iniquity are your skirts discovered, and your heels made bare. I will discover your skirts upon your face, that your shame may appear I have seen your adulteries, and your nangs the lewdness of your whoredoms. Isaiah 3.16 The Lord says, Because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go, and making a tinkling with their feet. Therefore the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord will discover their secret parts. Nahum 3 verse 4 Because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot the mistress of witchcrafts, and the seller nations through her whoredoms, I will discover your skirts upon your face and I will show the nations your nakedness, and the kingdoms your shame. Hosea 2 verse 2 God said, Plead with your mother, plead, for she is not my wife either I am her husband. Let her therefore put away her whoredoms out of her sight, and her adulteries from between her breasts, lest I strip her naked. I will not have mercy upon her children, for they be the children of whoredoms. And now will I discover her lewdness in the sight of her lovers. 
The Biblical Language Disgustful Command to Ezekiel Ezekiel 4.12 The Lord said to Ezekiel, And you shall eat it as barley cakes, and you shall bake it with dung that comes out of man in their sight. And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles. Then Ezekiel said, Ah, Lord God, behold, my soul has not been polluted. For from my youth up even till now have I not eaten of that which dies of itself, or is torn in pieces, either came their abominable flesh into my mouth. Then God replied and said to him, Lo, I have given cow's dung for man's dung, and you shall prepare your bread therewith. They eat dung and drink urine. 2 King 18.27 Rab Shakeh said, Has he not sent me to the men which sit on the wall, that they may eat their own dung, and drink their own piss with you? The word bastard, in the Bible. Deuteronomy 23.2 A bastard should not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Hebrew 12.8 Then you are bastards, and not sons. KJV Hebrew 12.8 It means you are not real sons, but bastards. GNB How to rescue her husband. Deuteronomy 25 verse 11 When men fight with one another, and the wife of the one draws near to rescue her husband from the hand of him who is beating him, and puts out her hand seizes him by the private parts. Then you shall cut off her hand, your eye shall have not pity. The Biblical Way of Expression Ecclesiastes 3 colon 1 To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to rend, and a time to sow. Ecclesiastes 7 colon 1 The day of death is better than the day of one's birth. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance the heart is made better. 1 Samuel 2 colon 1 Hannah said, My horn is exalted in the Lord, my mouth is enlarged over my enemies, and their eyes no rock like our God.